Hey everybody, Richter Knives here, episode number 57. Today I'm new knife goofing, and I wanted to show off a couple of knives that I got as gifts this past week, and they're very cool, very cool. Um, before we do that though, let's do a pocket dump. What's in my pocket? It's cone. A real lump of knobs, it has the juice. I can't imagine a more beautiful thing, right? Goodness gracious. It's the salt lightweight. And I put an edge on it last night. I don't know if you could see. She's shiny. I didn't get a couple of little chips out the edge there, but that'll sharpen out. I don't want to take all my steel off. It's still sharp though. Let me learn you. I got a piece of paper over here. I brought this, I was prepared a little bit. She's sharp. Anywho. There's that. Let me move this paper out of the way. Then, what else is in my pocket? Oh, yes. My 72 GC Cody Scout with my slip. I made this slip. It's getting a lot of work. And Teener Check. She's got the Teeners. Look at the micarta. That is burlap micarta, and it is ridiculously cool looking. I put a lanyard on here and some little beady things. I'm not a bead guy. I mean, I put them on there. I just don't think that's very, I don't know. It's not won me over yet. I'm still not. I kind of like those noose knots that I can't tie that Randy Johnson done a bunch of videos on that I can't ever do. You know what I'm saying. Kind of go with that, though. Because that's what I know how to do. And it's cut the steak. It's cut the apples. It's cut the oranges. And the sausage. And she's sharp, too. Fruit roll-up, sticky sharp. Cherry flavor. I'm loving this knife. Been carrying it since I got it. Love it. I think only one day I carried an old-timer since I got this. But this one, I've been carrying and I'm hitting the camera. Forgive me. And what else is in my pockets? Let's just dump my whole pockets. We got time. Grab you Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. It's a Lord's drink. And uh, take your time. I got my copper Zippo with the black insert. And pretty cool fire i love this thing i carry it every single day and you see the purples and the reds and the blues and the schnozberries the very first day i got this thing you're not even gonna believe this the very first day i got it i handed it to my sweet mama she's a saint she dropped it that's fine it's a story right there but gives it more character i guess huh See, mamas are good. I like that. Look at that coloring. Nice. I don't smoke. I just like fire. You know what I'm saying? I like fire. Okay, we got that. What else is in my pocket? I don't have a pen today. Oh, yes. I don't have a flashlight either. I ordered one of each of those, and I'm going to do a video on both of them. And... It, I think it's going to be in the mail today. That would be sweet mail call. This is my wallet. This is the Open Sea Top Sider. You see the logo right there? This is my favorite wallet of all time. You could see the patina on that. See, it's kind of dark right here. It's getting shiny. I don't know what this leather is, but oh my lord. Uh, it's premium. Love that wallet. Ain't nothing in it. But I love it. Let me turn it this way. Um, okay, let's get into the knives. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. S number one, this one, I I gave uh, Erica's EDC one of my case knives because I really wanted her to have it. Uh, I love Erica, and she, I just want her to have cool things, and. 
I was looking at my knife and I was like, gosh, I really want her to have this because you can't get them anywhere. And it's, it says Erica all over it. It's yellow case and it's a sow belly single blade. And it had the teeners all over the place, teeners. And it was well used, but I gave it to her um, because me and Erica take care of each other. She gave me the comb. See, also, um, but I looked for another one because uh, I wanted to give her a brand new one, but they didn't have one, so I just gave her mine. And lo and behold, not even a few days later, this was sent in the mail and didn't even know it was being sent. Somebody was sneaky and got my address and everything and sent this to me and I was blowed away. Are you believing that? I want you to look. Put your peepers right there. You know what this is? Single blade, sow belly. Straight down the middle, strike one. Centering. And this is this is snake wood, I believe. And it's pretty. It's a rehandle. Or recover, I should say, case. And then looky there. This is the big thing right here. CV. Tony Bose. 3139 CV USA. Man, do you even believe somebody could send you something like that in the mail without even you knowing? That blew my whole mind. Uh, you know, ever since I've been on YouTube... I've got more gifts than I can even talk about. And it's it just kind of, you know, it's humbling or humbling or whatever word you say it is. I don't know. It starts with an H. Y'all know how to say it. But golly, it's, um, it's a blessing. I'll tell you, it's a blessing. I never got into this expecting to get any gifts, but goodness gracious, I sure am, sure am grateful. That's a blessing. So this thing is sweet. And I'm going to use it up and put the teeners on her and all the good stuff. I haven't had time to use it because I've been got so many knives here lately. But it's going to get used. And I've got this plan I'll talk to you about before we uh, finish this video. Now, a lady from work, she works overnights. And her dad passed away. And she found... Uh, some of his knives and she wanted to give them to me so uh, this is what it started out with and these are kind of rough but I can clean them all up I mean that's just a uh, a thing you know no step first stepper that's what I do clean them up but this is pretty neat I don't know what brand it is it's some kind of natural bone it has brass bolsters uh, let's open okay this is well used if you can look and see all the scratchulations on it. Man, the bug went right on my face. Sorry, y'all. Let's open up this other one. That's a pin blade. And then, look where they put the nail in it. That's strange. I might have to open this up to open the main blade. Oh, my goodness gracious. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Okay, this one, she said he used to sit for hours and sharpen these blades up. And it looks like he did. Sure enough. So, you can see the scratches on that. I'm thinking he put that flat on the stone and said, Wah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a neat little thing. It don't have any kind of, oh yeah, it does. It says Pakistan right there. There it is, Pakistan. I'll clean that up. And honestly, this ain't something I would have went out and bought, but she gave me her dad's knives. Can you think about that for a minute? Think about your own dad and think about um, giving somebody his knives. That's a big deal to me. Uh, so she wanted me to have these things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep them, and I'm gonna take care of them. 
just like they were my own dad's knives. So that's a blessing, and that's a uh, a big honor to me. This is what he. This is the second one. Come on, thing. Focus. Okay, focus. Okay, this is a case. Texas Jack. This one's a little rough as well. It's got some rustations. See on the blade, but. To be honest, it's not horribly, terribly bad. It can be cleaned up. It is pretty bad right here, but I think I can still clean it up and turn it into a user. And here's the pin blade. This is a CV, as you could tell, because, you know, the way that it is, you're looking right at it. And the inside of it, she's all centered up. Centered. No, that one's not very centered, but I think this one is. It is. It's right to, right there. Hold on. There we go. Okay. My camera's not going to focus, whatnot. And here's the last one she gave me. This is. What's wrong with the focus on my thingy thing? Here we go. I don't know what this is, but I want you to look at that shield right there. What in the world? This has a full-fledged Rue River, a Phillips flavor. See? My iPhone's acting crazy. Um, let's see what other kind of blades it has. It's got this old thing. That looks aggressive. And then it's got a spear and that thing that's this is what he said at the table sharpening for pete's sake that thing is full flat ground and when i say full flat ground i mean this thing has been sharpened eleventy thousand times hmm. and then this blade this looks like kind of like a punch i don't know yep never had one what's dirty Yeah, I think it's a punch. It's all rustilated. Look inside there. What in the world is in there? Come out of there, filler. I don't know what's in there. It looks like a band-aid or something. We'll get it cleaned up. But, I mean, that's pretty cool to have somebody's dad's knife. He's no longer with us, but... These live on. They tell a story. And they're on the YouTubes now. Okay, sorry about my camera, y'all. This one, uh, I didn't expect this as well. I didn't ask for this. I didn't buy this. This, like, came in the mail. Didn't know it was coming. I want you to look at this. You know how I am about my Saudis. I love my Saudi juniors. This one is gray. I think it's pocket-worn jig bone. And look at the thinness of this. Are you even looking at that? Stop. Oh, my God. Look at this thing. It is so thin and nice. You know, I've looked at this same knife on the interwebs probably 11 times and... Never did pull the trigger, and I don't know why, because this thing is a sweetie. Sweetie! She's got the teeners, because I just used it. <sighs> I don't remember what I cut with it. Probably an apple, or... I don't remember. Chicken? Oh, yeah, it was chicken. My wife made some uh, baked chicken. And I cut it. This thing needed some teeners on it. And I'm going to put some sharkening on it, too. Love this thing. The fit and finish is pretty good on it, too. It's snappy. You hear that? Yep. That's the thinnest Saudi Junior i ever seen. That is thin. And the centering is just a tad off to this side. But honestly, if you're going to have it off, you want it on this side. That way, when you push in that nail nick or you pull on it, it's over here to the middle. You know what I'm saying? And it's pinchable. That's good. I love this thing.
Oh, another Saudi Junior to the collection. I'm digging it. I am digging it. What else? And last one is this one. And I did do a short on this. You could go back and look and see a short that I, I kind of sneak peeked this one on. And I kind of want to do a whole video on this one. But this was one of my, and I hate to say the word grill knives, because, I, you know, you only get one or two grill knives, you know what I'm saying? But this is one that Big J knows. I was chasing this one. A couple people know I was chasing this one. And one of the very first video I watched, actually, of Big J, we're talking about Big J, which he got to 1,000 subscribers this week. So congratulations, Big J. Go over to Big J's and have to subscribe if you're not. He's got awesome content. But I looked at this video. It was his first video I watched. And he got this knife. This is the GC. Come on, focus. 35 cattle knife. And look, I just want you, after I stop hitting the camera, to take a look at that. This looks like one piece of metal. It almost looks like a custom. It is gorgeous. This is, I believe, elderberry chick bone. Um, come on, focus thing. Let me open the blade. Yo, that's what y'all want to see. Cattle knife. Oh, 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 that's the coolest etch I've seen GC do. It really is long pull, swedge, uh, spear. Look at that blade. And she, look at the edge too. I tuned it on up. I put the tunes on it. I'm talking the real tunes. On all three blades. I'll show you. I still got some paper over here. I'll, I'll show you. Oh, man, it is. It's hard to do behind the camera, but she's sharp. Now I got all this in the way. Just hold on a minute. I'm moving it. Okay, I moved it. Let me straighten this up. My OCD's tingling. Okay. Anywho, let's check out the other blades. This is a sheep foot blade. This is a handy little dude, and it's got a good point to it. Oh yeah. I love this thing. I'm going to carry this for two weeks straight, not another knife. Not not a modern folder, not a nothing. This is the, gonna be the only knife in my pocket for two straight weeks. And I'm gonna do some loving on this thing. I am going to carry it every day, use it every day, everyday things. And almost pretend that it's my only knife. Uh, I got to thinking about my old timer the other day. And I remember when it was my only knife. And how much I enjoyed actually only having one knife. Even as a knife lover. Because you build that bond. So I want to build a bond with this. It's, it's not a puppy or nothing. But it's a knife. And I just want that. You know what I'm saying. You... You knife guys who are 18 minutes and 51 seconds into this video know exactly what I'm talking about. I carry different knives every day and I'm just going to put this one in the pocket and I'm going to enjoy it. I know I'm going to miss using my other knives, but I don't know. Maybe I won't. This is beautiful. So... I am new knife goofing. You've seen all my new knives now. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, I want you to subscribe for Pete's sake. It's real easy. All you got to do, push that little button right there. It's red. I mean, you're this far into it. Commit. It's right there. And hit the like button, share, comment. I love your comments. What you think about these knives? Um, also, uh, tell your mom and them. Tell your friends. Tell your crush. Tell your boys. 
and um, tell everybody to go to Richard Knives. I'm at, I believe, 900 uh, subscribers, so we're close to a, a thousand. Let's do a thousand. I bet you we can get there this month. I had 200 and something, 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 something last month, so it's attainable this month. Might as well. We're here, huh? Let's just do the thing. Anyways, love y'all. I'm glad y'all got to watch this video. Hang out with me for 20 minutes and 30 seconds. This is Richter. Out.